welcome to another tech video. Uh, today we're going to be looking at a Dell all-in-one. It's 7700. It's one of the oh, heavy big screen devices. Now this one is non-booting so we need to have a look at uh, what the problem is with it. Okay, so this is the device itself. It's an Inspiron 7777 AIO and it's non-booting. So the problem that we've got with it is that um, when the user switches it on, all that happens is they get this uh, sort of DOS window coming up on this on their uh, on the display saying enter control alt delete. Um, unfortunately, you can't enter control or delete. So I've got a funny feeling. Oh, I've got a funny feeling that the uh, the hard drive is cream crackered. So we're going to open it up. We're going to have a look at what's inside it. See the check the condition out and see what we can do to fix it. Okay, so what you're going to need to get into one of these devices is you're going to need a Phillips screwdriver and you're going to need a small flathead screwdriver. And the first thing you want to do is make sure that you've got a soft cloth and you place the screen face down on the soft cloth so that it doesn't get damaged. Uh, then you want to remove this stand. Now, to remove the stand, you've got this cover that runs around the outside of it. So you want to get a screwdriver in the bottom right corner and just prise up the corner and unclip it. And then the same on this side. So you can unclip that and that will then lift out. Next on each side, just under on the edge here, one there and one on this side that you can't really see. We've got a couple of M3 screws. So we're going to remove those. And then the stand will just lift off. Just lifts up. There we go. And removes. Once you've got the stand removed, we want to remove this uh, back cover and have a look at the inside. Now, these units are great. There's, you don't have to undo 350 screws. It's just a matter of pushing this clip down here and the whole of the back plate will just, in theory, slide forward and then it will come off revealing the inside. Okay, so on this unit, we've got our RAM under here. If we lift up this uh, the little door here, it's a bit tricky to do because it unclips, you can get to your uh, sodium slots, as you can see there. So this one comes with eight gig. And then if you want to upgrade it, you can either add another sodium chip in there. This one's single channel, it's just one stick of RAM. This is the drive, it's a two and a half inch laptop drive. So we're going to be removing this and we're going to replace it with an SSD drive because I'm fairly sure that that's what the problem is. And we're going to do a fresh Windows 10 install on it. So to remove this, push down the clip at the front and then slide it back. And then that will just lift out like that. Looking at the condition of the rest of this device, there's not a lot to it, to be honest. Um, as you can see here, our fan is pretty filthy dirty so we're going to give this a good uh, brush and blow out and then we'll come back and get an ssd drive installed okay so now we've got the fan cleaned out we can go ahead and add the ssd drive so this drive is uh it's a, a seagate barracuda pro it's a one terabyte drive so we're going to we're going to get an SSD drive, another one terabyte SSD drive. I'm going to be using a crucial MX500 one terabyte drive. And to add this, it's just a matter of popping it in the cover or the, uh, the mounting bracket. Like that. And again, that will then just slot straight in like that. And then fitting the 
back cover is exactly the reverse order. So you take your back cover, make sure that this clip goes underneath, pull that back until it locks into place. And then you want to take your stand and the stand has got two little hinge clips under there. So that goes in there like that. slides into place and then we take our two screws, reattach the stand and then we take our cover. You've got some clips along the back here that slot underneath so you'll slide it in until that back hinge goes in place and then push down and clip the rest into place and that's it. Nice and easy to get into these machines. Right, so once you've got the power connected, uh, the next thing you want to do is get yourself a bootable Windows 10 installation or Windows 11 installation. And then we're going to see if this actually boots up. We've got a flashing red light here, so I'm not sure what that means, but we're going to get some power to it. And we're going to hit F12 and see if we get anything on the screen. Okay, so... Let's have a look. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we've got five orange flashing lights. So let's do some investigation onto what that means. Okay, so this is interesting. So five amber flashing lights seems to suggest the, um, it's the coin cell battery failure. So can't be as simple as that surely but uh, what I'm going to do is we'll take the back back off and we'll change the coin battery which is a CMOS battery and then we'll see if that fixes it. Okay so here we are again we're going to remove the drive <clears throat> and then the BIOS battery is under this cover so we want to remove five M3 screws. And then we can remo remove this cover. And here's our cell, our BIOS battery. Just down here, so it's a CR2032. So let's see if we can get this out. Let's see if we can, we've got a replacement. Okay, so <clears throat> here's our replacement battery. We're going to fit that in there. And then I'm actually going to take the SSD drive back out and reinsert the hard disk. Because if it's as simple as BIOS battery replacement, a bit embarrassing really. Okay, so let's get the... <clears throat> Let's get the drive actually fitted. We'll stick that in there and I'm going to raise that up and get some power connected. Let's see if we get anything on the screen. Okay, so we've got our original hard disk installed. We've got some power going into the unit. So let's have a look to see if we can get this to boot. Okay, so it's not the BIOS battery. Everything else is connected correctly. Uh, so we've got the hard disk indicator here. That's all okay. Everything on the board looks okay. Memory, CPU, power, Wi-Fi cards. There's not a lot else we can change to be honest. Okay, so let's have a think about how we can get this resolved. All right, so we've got some success. Um, so what have we done? So what I've done is change the BIOS battery. I've also removed the SODIMM RAM, so the eight gig memory chip, and I've reinserted that. And so far, it's doing something, it's booting at the moment so let's see if we get any further than this 
Okay, and this was the error that we were getting previously. Um, it basically flashes up a DOS box in the corner here and says uh, press control or delete to unlock. So something is stopping the boot process going in. So let's have a look at that a bit more in detail. Okay, so because we got a bit further that time, I'm fairly confident that actually it is a crappy hard drive so I'm going to take that out anyway and I'm going to fit our one terabyte SSD drive we'll get our cover back on and then we'll take our SSD drive and we'll get that inserted we'll get our cover back on because I'm fairly confident that this should now work and there we go let's get this see if we can get this booted up okay so once again we've got our Windows 10 installation media there and let's see if this is going to work so we're going to turn it on we're going to hit F12 on the keyboard Let's see if we get anything come up. Might take a couple of boots. Okay, there we go. So we are in action. So it looks like the drive was the culprit along with, I'm not 100% sure whether the battery, whether that was a red herring. Probably the battery was a red herring and it was just the memory needed reseating. Um, okay, so let's get this booted up with Windows 10 and then have a look at the system. And then finally, here we are all booted uh, with Windows 10. It's all configured, everything's set up as we want it to be. Screen is perfect, um, everything else is set correctly, so let's just make sure that we can get into our folders, which we can. That's it. So if you found that video useful, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I just want to say thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.